Welcome, welcome, welcome. Episode 12 of Penthouse Network. Yes, it's King sir. of Ohio Ladies Love, Lonnie, your official host. And on episode 12, we got entrepreneur Mary Mills. Yeah. 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 Clap it up for my guy. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for coming on the show, man. Man, we ain't linked in a second. Man, in a minute. In a minute. We're man. That's why you're here. We want to know what you've been up to and what you got going on. You heard me. Introduce yourself to the people, man. For y'all that don't know, it's your boy Mayor Mills, yeah. aka Grills by Mayor Mills, okay. aka Mr. New Flavor Radio, aka okay. whatever you need, I got it. You got you it. Me? Okay. Let's go. Say less. Say less. That's my time. dog. That's my dog. So, <laughs> like, like I was trying to ask you, like, what you want to be known and go by because you do a lot. You do grills. You party promote. You do networking events. You in the community. You got a radio station. Like, tell us about all of that. All right, so I guess the best way to put it, because I ain't going to cap, that's like the biggest question I get. They yeah, like, absolutely. What is it that Mills do? He <laughs> do that, he yeah. do that. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like if I had to put in a category, uh-huh. I want to be a venture capitalist, meaning I just want to invest in different businesses for real. Okay. You know what I'm so saying? So an investor, you just want to be an investor? Basically, you know what I'm saying, for real. But like where I pretty much got the name from was the grills and then doing the parties, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You know? Yeah. We got, some le- we got some legendary stories we're going to get into. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So out of everything you do, like, what's, what are you most focused on right now? Because you said you want to be an investor, but you got to have the money to do that. So all the things that you doing is to save up the money for that. What you focused on now? Is that the grills? Um, yeah, I would say definitely I want to say I'm focused on the grills right now. Mm-hmm. Um, but then it's like I'll be tapping in with the marketing, too. It's like I don't want to say, like, I'm super heavy in the marketing, but like I do enjoy, you know what I'm saying, creating content for other people yeah. and just helping them get their little bit of shine, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I would say really it's the grills first and okay. then it's like I want to tap in with the marketing and that's why you kind of see me post it up with like the real estate yeah. and everything else. Uh, yeah, you know I have, I have, we're going to get into that. I have been tapping in with that. Yes. So you said you, you focused on the grills. What made you get into that? Like. You know what I'm saying? Meals with the grills. Like, Man, what's crazy <laughs> that's is, rare. What's crazy is a lot of people don't know, but my mom, she actually got four permanent teeth in her mouth. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? She had grills since since I probably was born for real. Okay. So it's like it was always in front of my face with that. Mm-hmm. Then it's like I was always like intrigued with like Texas and like TV Johnny. If y'all uh-huh. don't know, that's Johnny thing. Johnny thing yeah. So just pretty much just watching them paul wall mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying nelly sit like that so it's like just growing up watching them i was kind of like man oh, I, I know at some point i want to get into yeah, it but i don't know definitely. how so fast for the story after high school things didn't go as planned so mm-hmm. then it was like all right what am i going to do for real you know what i'm saying so my cousin he actually go to a uh, like a trade school okay and then he put me down as a reference and then a lady called me and was like hey your cousin put you down as a reference would you want to come check our facility da, 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 da. Yeah. at this point it's like i'm fucked up for her so it's just like at this point like i'll give it a try mm-hmm. but everything she was saying was just boring until she said dental assisting then i'm like all right i might be able to kind of do a little one yeah that. absolutely you know what i'm saying so then i go in see a facility i met the uh, instructor thing like that uh-huh. super cool then i said like, all right bet i'm gonna enroll then from then when i enrolled um, there's a dental technician. Those are the people that actually make like the crowns and stuff in the mouth or whatever. Technicians, okay. Yeah, so I got connected with him and then I pretty much told him what I'm trying to do. It's like, honestly, I'm not, well, well, let me break it down just a little bit more. When I actually started doing the dental stuff, being in people's mouth 24 seven was not the vibe. It, it was not. <laughs> Absolutely, I like, can I imagine. I started seeing little stuff and then like, you get, you can actually, if you don't take care of your mom, you can actually, you know, develop some serious issues. Yeah. So I'm like, this ain't for me. I'm really a yeah. business guy for real. You know what I'm saying? I just love business. So I'm like, the, the mouth thing just ain't it. But yeah. then when I met the dental technician, then I'm kind of telling him, like, look, I'm not really in this all the ways I thought it was. But I really would love to make grills. And then from then on, mm-hmm. the rest is history. The rest is history. Yeah. Absolutely. You've been going crazy, man. I I remember you from high school just throwing <laughs> parties. Then it's like, you, you can make grills and what? And I think I got a grill from you. I got a yeah, couple. Yeah, you did. Yeah, cap. you did. Yeah, I got like Early two. on. Yeah, early, early on. You know what yes. I'm saying? I, I might even still have the video if I look deep enough. For yeah, real. same, same here. Same here. So that's what's up, man. If you're watching, if you need a grill, you want your, your yes. teeth on shine, follow me Mayor at Mills, Grills man. by Mayor Mills on IG. You do great business. You know, Oh, like I, I do the buzz down. Yep. Hey. I do the enable, okay. aka the crystals that everybody be looking at. You know okay. what I'm saying? I do the solid go. A lot of y'all want the perm cuts. Yeah. I done got better at it. Yeah. You know what I'm say saying? Less. Come on, let your boy. Shit. I got you. 
Hey, let's say, say less, say less. There it go. He focused on them grills. That's number one. Shout out everybody that's tapping in with him. Yes, like sir. I said, if you need that, go ahead. So my thing, I'm happy you here is because I want to talk about the promotion side, the promoter side, because, yes. you know, me and you grew up, we throw, we threw a lot of parties, you know, yeah. we, um, we, we fell out a couple times about parties and, and it, you know for what I'm sure, saying? Sure. Around the same age and got the same thing going. But, uh, you know, we, we we great friends today, and we got a lot of money together. You know, we used to do our March Madnesses a and everything. A lot of money. Yeah, yeah. You hear me? Yeah. So I've been trying to, like, pull you back into the scene and stuff like that. But We you, definitely you, had a few conversations. Yeah, yeah. Sure. You said you, you, like, chilled. Like, why? Tell me why you, like, chilled on the Columbus party scene and, and what you had going. Because you used to have a couple of nice vibes going. Well, I ain't going to cap. When the pandemic happened, uh -huh. that is when everything kind of just hit me. And I'm like, you know what? I got to get it a different way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So then it was like, I, or like I said, I always loved the business stuff. Uh -huh. So then when the pandemic hit and everything was shut down, I literally was fucked up. Like, I didn't know what I was about to do, but I knew going back to a job just was not the vibe. Right. That was, that was never an option yeah. or whatever. Uh -huh. So then I sit back and I was like, okay, well then I'm going to just, you cut off one hand, you feel me? You got to make the other hand stronger. Absolutely. So that's where the love for like the girls and all that stuff kind of to correspond. Mm -hmm. So then I was like, okay, I'm gonna just put the party stuff on hold. Mm -hmm. Cause I started realizing too, it's like, we getting older now. So it's like, we didn't have this conversation actually a little bit earlier when you were just kind of like, Mills, you know, people know you for real. Yeah. But it's like, it's just time to reinvent yourself. Yeah, and absolutely, and absolutely. So then I was like, all right, bet. You know what I'm saying? Took that and then I was like, okay, so now we about to just build it up. Right. And then I'm like, all right, I'm about to be ready to get back into the scene for real. Yeah. Because I feel like the night like weird now too. Yeah, hey, hey. The night like super weird now. <laughs> hey, it's super weird, man. How you feel <laughs> on it? Like, like, what you think about it? Honestly, I think it's watered down for real. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people took what we was doing, like our our, our formula. Absolutely. And then it's like they trying to implement it and do these certain things. Absolutely. But it ain't going as how we was doing exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. You I, know I that? feel like yeah, I feel like it's our time, like 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 they tried to block what we had and, and yeah, like steal the sauce, but it's not going the right way because it's it's about us. It's our people. Like we grew that up with true. these people. You know what I'm saying? It's not that no thirty true. plus year old trying to tap in with this market now and know what's going on. It's like these people we didn't gave them our last two. You know what I'm saying? We didn't that is true. We didn't experience. we didn't put out a lot of checks. You know what I'm saying? We didn't got a lot we we, we, we didn't, didn't put out a lot of checks. A lot of checks. We didn't got a lot of people together. A lot of couples out here came from one of our events. And that is true. You know what I'm saying? A lot of bottle girls, <laughs> a lot of bottle girls right now in Columbus that is, that is that's true. popping and all that. Ask them where they that started. Ask them true. whose parties they used to go to, man. Me and, me and Mills definitely used to put them on, <laughs> man. So that's why I be saying, like, 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 that's why I told you, I was talking to you the other day, like, man, it's time to get out here and, and rebrand yourself because I'm looking at these girls, bottle girls and promoters now, and it's like, bruh, we put y'all on. Like, if it wasn't me, it was Mills. You know what I'm saying? We definitely put put girls on, brung them into the nightlife, you know, got them into the 21 and ups, got them into the 18 and ups. Like, we, was we like the OGs, but we still we young, tight. you know what I'm saying? But and it's like, I feel like they kind of forgot about, like, me and you, like, especially you, because to be all honest, I bring you up to a lot of people, a lot of business people, they be like, Mills, you know what I'm saying? I be like, nah, Mills is great. He do a lot. He break, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They not hit. They don't get down. They don't, they don't give you that respect yet. And that's why I was, we had that conversation. I'm like, it's yeah, time to turn up, bro. Like, that is true. You know what I'm saying? We that really, you know what I'm saying? You've been there. Like, you've you, you been there, and a lot of people know you, bro. So I definitely think it's time to tap back into that. You know what I'm saying? What I think it is, too, in a city like Columbus, mm -hmm. I think we don't know how to recognize our culture for real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I think like, okay, let's say for example, let's say Atlanta, for example. Mm -hmm. It's predominantly black, right? You know what I'm saying? So it's like their culture is just different. You go out there and you just feel welcome. You, you know what I'm saying? Welcome. You might even go to Texas and feel welcome. Right. You know what I'm saying? But then it's like Texas got, uh, you know, Pimp C. Yeah. You they know what I'm saying? Atlanta got they whole, you know yeah. what I'm saying? They got they whole thing where they, everybody give them them flowers early. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Even mm -hmm. Drake with Toronto, like. He put them on, you know what I'm saying? Same thing, New York, you can talk about all these rappers on site, they getting their flowers and stuff like that. Right. But like in Ohio, we don't really give out flowers. Bro. Yeah, yeah. You, you know what I'm right saying? right about that. And then it's like, not even trying to make it seem like we done, the only niggas that really was doing shit or whatever. It's mm -hmm. just more so like, we was the ones that contributed to the nightlife. For yes. Real. If you yes. were to take us out of an equation, a lot of our big parties, when I'm talking about hundreds of people. Big parties, real hundreds, big parties. You know what I'm saying? I think our biggest was what? 12? Yeah. 
we did some the March vault? Madison. The yeah, March, March Madison, Madison was legendary. Man, like, I saw legendary. I got all the videos. People still talk about them. Like, them was all through Ohio. You know yeah, facts. So, you know what I'm saying? So I think we don't really recognize our culture for real. Mm-hmm. On the biggest tip. Go hit that. Hit that. Go to the moon real quick. <laughs> <laughs> nah, though, but. Lonnie got me smoking. Yeah, yeah, it's rare to see Mills smoke, man. But, yeah, it's just like. Like, yeah, I feel like we the culture, we next up. Even, you know, I just turned 27, you 27. 28. 28, yeah. About big, to be 28 in December, but you know. Yeah, big dog. You know, I think it's our time, and a lot of people just need to let us have it. You know what I'm saying? And we need that to get true. back into it. So I definitely hope you get back into the promoting lane big. I need you. I definitely would love you how, how you on the team with what I got going on. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, we got some shit coming up for sure. Eastside Love Mills. Yes. <laughs> Mills always got the females, man. Whenever I need, I say, man, I got this party. I need 10, 15 females. I call Mills and he get right on to it. I'd be like, who is that? For oh, sure. that's this one chick from Actually, oh, OSU on oh, the side, my little chick. So I definitely respect Mills and always know he brings something to the table. Let me but, ask you a question. Oh, go ahead. Ask me. I'm going to ask you a question after you ask me a question. Out of all our parties, uh -huh. which one did you fuck with the most? Uh, I think I think we went crazy as the March Madness, man. The one, uh, I don't remember. I think it was 2018, but the one where we were standing, you had on that. Uh, oh, best. Yeah. Ah, you shot the video today. Bangy shot the recap video. That shout out my brother Bangy, man. We need to drop that work. video one more time. He behind because. the scenes right now. He's still here with us. Don't just ever forget because. that. You know what I'm saying? He's still running. You yeah. feel me? And shout out. What's, C the, what's the craziest thing you've done at our parties? Uh, cause I done did some shit. What you done? Cause you're wild off that Ciroc. Mills loves Ciroc. I don't know if you still do. I hope not. Cause that 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 vodka kind of crazy, man. You but. know what's funny? Somebody was just telling me the other day that I need a I need a, a transition to uh, tequila. Yeah, that's what. So people don't know, bro. I get that tequila. Don't tequila. Like, <laughs> it's like, like the henny for you. Psh, well, it's not playing. Uh, I'll be way too lit off that. Oh man, oh man. So can I ask you a question? What? Cause people probably want to know. <laughs> are you in a relationship or are you messing with somebody? Like, what's your love life? About with the love life, all right. I'm gonna break it down in like two ways for, right, sure. for sure. So, like, answer the question in my relationship. No, I'm not okay. You know what I'm saying DMs is open, okay. You know what I'm saying holla at your boy, go shoot your shot. You, you know hear that? Saying? Go shoot your shot, ladies. Once again, promo, promo, promo. <laughs> but uh, I'm single, but like, I'm only really interested in like out of town girls right now. Okay, so as you saying, no Columbus girls? I'm trying to take a break on the Columbus ones right now. How are you going to X out the Columbus girls, though? Not really X them out. It's just we didn't yeah. had our fun times with the Columbus girls, for sure. Not all of them. Definitely not all of them, but it's just like, I want to try some out-of-town stuff. I need some new flavor. A new vibe? Right? You need yeah, flavor like, radio? Yeah. That's what you need? And then, too, it's like with the out-of-town girls, like, it's less stress. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's really a FaceTime at the end of the day. I mean, but is that because... She don't know your bullshit. She don't know the <laughs> girls you even fuck in her city because the out of town That's dealing with the out of town girls is cool too. I do like that too, but it's like you don't know they pass like that, and, and the, they can the get away with whatever. That's, that's, the the, that's the best thing. That's the best thing. You don't know they pass. I don't know they pass. Ah, I, I don't know if I'm that type of guy to not just. I mean, we grown. Who cares about your past? But no, I'm. A, I'm gonna know a little bit. From. She she can she can lie easier. You know what I'm saying? If I know a girl from. Mm -hmm. LA. It's not like that boy got trust issues. Nah, not trust issues because I just wrote on my Instagram today. I, I don't think it's important when y'all local to know about somebody past. It's important. Walking up in the club, exactly. Like you know what I'm saying? Like this nigga messing with you. But I'm gonna bring her. I'm gonna bring, bring her to the city. I'm gonna bring her to the city. So yeah, it's like y'all not great. about to even know who she is. Right. And I like then it's that like idea. no matter who she is out there, because I don't know them. Or at least when you're a public figure, it's important to know. It's important. I feel like the way I am and the way we are. We can't just be dealing with any bra, and that bra got to know how to deal with us. And she can't just be dealing Talk with your shit, baby. Talk oh, your you know shit, what? Baby. That's now that you broke it down like that, I think I actually was thinking about it in a different way. So, like, right now, I'm not looking for a relationship. I'm looking for a fun, good moment. Right. And I get that the best with the out-of-town girl. That's cool. That's cool. So, do you want to be in a relationship in the future? Like, I ain't going to cap. Eventually. 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 But just not right now. Because I feel like right now... It's super grind time. It's know, always so a grind time. Super grind time. For sure. So it's like, I know it come with the relationship stuff. So it's just like, I really just take a break on that. Okay, okay. For right now. That's cool. And, I mean, you say you're about to be 28. You have no kids. Do you plan on having kids? Like, <laughs> You know, it's crazy. My mom really just told me the other day, like, I want six grandkids. I'm like, talk six. To the mic. Talk, talk, talk to the mic for She's like, I want six grandkids. I'm like, 
Uh, I, it's hard enough to get you one. Yeah. Sis. Like, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Straight Jeez. up. But no, nah, I mean, I do want kids, yeah. I would love to have a son. A son? Yeah. You just wait on the right chick, right? Um, Really the right bag, I think. Of. The bag, the money come first. Really, definitely. Yeah. Cause I, I mean, I can't be out here playing around. Yeah, no, nah, it's true. Yeah, that, it's a lot of stress, but I mean, a lot of people have kids and and, and motivate them to get to the bag. You know what I'm saying? You don't necessarily got to wait to the bag because what if you never get to the bag? Right. I don't want to be no old dad either, though. Yeah, exactly. I know, exactly. I'm just trying to that have was, fun. That, that was me. I think that's my problem. I'm just trying to have fun right yeah. now. <laughs> have fun. You can have fun. I still have fun. I got a kid. Uh, well, you know, you're a great dad. You know what I'm saying? Thanks. I appreciate it. I feel like you got a, too. I got a dog. She about to be three this December. Her birthday is <laughs> in December. She about to be three. Her uh, name Cleo. Cleo. That's <laughs> yeah. what's up. That's what's up. Well, let's get back into it, man. Um, what, what's your future plans for Mayor Mills? Where do you see yourself by 30? Like, Mayor Mills Enterprise, what do you see? By 30, I definitely need a building. A building? That's one thing that promoting taught me. Uh-huh. When you promote these parties, you really don't own shit. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts. It's the, the buildings that own everything. You know what I'm saying? The owners, they own everything. Right. So it's just like, we going so hard for these names and stuff. I just got tired. I'm like, all right, I need my own. Right. You know what I'm saying? So at least by 30, I need a building, an establishment, something. Where I can be like, yeah, pull up. It's my address. But you got to know what it is. Like, you know, I mean, what is it? Because I feel like you need to know what it is and go after it. Oh, well, then it'd be a, a, a grill slash jewelry shop. You want to do a, a jewelry shop? Basically, yeah. But okay. I'm going to do the grills, too. Okay. Yeah. What's gonna make yours different? You just gonna brand your name and just the people you mess with just gonna mess with you, like? Nah, I feel like my aesthetics. If y'all go to the page at Girls by Mayor Mills, y'all see my aesthetic. Like it's really uh, unique. It's a classic. It's it's artistic. You know what I'm saying? I be mm-hmm. posting art on there all the time. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then I feel like with the type of clients that I got, like it's a, it's like. I don't know. It's like an urban type crowd. Right. So it's just like, is it going to just have a taste, I guess, of urban in there too? Okay. You know what I'm okay. Saying? I don't know. But I really want like a, I want my store to be like a designer store though. Okay. Yeah, designer store. Yeah. That's what's up, man. Well, good luck to all that. I hope all the, all your dreams come true. Keep going crazy. Keep going great. You know what I'm saying? The city love you. You know, I always going to rock with you for sure. Bro, and I definitely want you. That. You know what I'm saying? I always told you since the beginning, we can always get money together. I feel like for sure. you're, you're a great partner, sure. man. So. And that's why I, I, I got to shout out Shay. Shout out to the dressing room. For definitely, sure. definitely. Because she definitely put us in a room together. She definitely put us squash in a room together, that, squashed us up. And, and Shay actually is the reason I'm throwing parties to this day. So shout out Shay, to Shay. Shout out to the watching, dressing shout out room. Shout out to you. Man. You're very important. Go get y'all's hair life. done. No matter what you're doing. Yeah, go get your braids. Go get that kitchen right. When I grow my hair, I'm definitely coming to you. Spray my shit, twist my shit, whatever. <laughs> oh, you gonna get your ass? Yeah, eventually. But I just Yay. cut my hair off. I just cut my hair off for my birthday. I chopped it halfway off just cause I don't know. But never again. Oh, we're about to get the dress. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. I gotta change the look up. I had this look for ten years, man. Man, I feel you for real. You feel me? So, you, so yeah, you got your eye on anybody? Uh, nah, not for real. Um, I just got out of a relationship for real a couple months ago. So mm. I'm just focused on my brand and you know. Becoming a better me and stuff like that, but nah, nobody caught my attention Bro, you know, yet. Probably say trying to become a better me. <laughs> <laughs> like he said, straight a better me. I mean, because it be true. Me. <laughs> it be true though. Like I'm trying to, I'm trying to be a better me. I'm trying to work on my. All right, you want to know? Exactly. I tell you about me, like, bro. I'm just trying to have fun. Yeah, I mean, I have my fun. Like we about to be thirty years old. Like I don't want to have. He fun about to be thirty. Long. Like I want to get into the businesses. I want to get into like, 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 like. Me, more to me, my yeah. business. Like you said, you want to have a building, it's time. I want to have a, bu- a building by 30. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so these next couple of years is personal. I've been having my fun. You know what I'm saying? Right, no, I feel you. And then I've been in a relationship, and that kind of like, you know what I'm saying, paused me a little bit. So mm, it was like, let's I'm talk back. about it. I'm back. Let's, let's talk about you because true. you was in a relationship, I thought. I was. Why ain't you in a relationship, Mills? Um, it just didn't work out, you know what I'm saying? We uh we cool and everything, but you know, it just it just it just it was right person, wrong time. Put it like that. You must see me tweet that. <laughs> <laughs> you must see me tweet that because that's how mm-hmm. I describe my <laughs> No, nah, it'd be like that, you know what I'm saying? The fact like you saying we is getting older now, so we just starting to mature a little bit. Yeah. So, you know, we ain't no point of playing around no more. Right. But you know, that's just what it is with me though. We ain't gonna say no names, but would you get back with her? Y'all got a shot if you don't answer the question. 
<laughs> Not on this episode, man. We wanted to get then, live and direct. Bro, we should have had, had no bottle girls. We should have had... Next we time we, we next time next time we get you on I'm the being show, punk. We I know you got the strippers coming out right about now. We know you love on strippers. Q. We know you love strippers, man. I guess I do. Would you date a stripper? Mm. I feel like you would. Can't be in the city though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot do it in the city. <laughs> Nothing you can do is in the city, huh? No. I feel like you're gonna be dangerous out of town, boy. You don't know what this guy. No, when I'm out of town, I'm I'm. It's out of my body, like I'm 100% just out there, you know what I'm saying? Not saying like on some ranch, shit. just yeah. saying like, you know, I'm turning, like, let's have a good time. So, do you feel like it just sound like you should move out of Columbus? Nah, because I ain't that type of person where I feel like I gotta go out of the city to do certain stuff. I think right now it's just a reason for me to travel, yeah. You know. But you just said everything is out of town, the girls is bad out of town, you go wild out of town, which Cause, you cause hear is just the girls, huh? It's like, it's a certain type of vibe I like. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? I'm kind of lit. Well, you know. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Bro, you didn't even, hold on. Wait, you didn't even answer the question. What was that question? What was the wildest thing you did at one of our parties? Had sex at one. Which one? Uh, <laughs> I don't remember. But I know that's the wildest thing I probably ever did. <laughs> nah, that's lit. Like, I'm talking about in a section, like, <laughs> get on top of me, like. VIP. Yeah, it was crazy. At the vault. What you done? VIP at the vault. Have we done something together? Nah. Oh, okay. Nah. Nothing together? Nah. What you do at the vault, though? Let them know. No, nah, I mean, I can bust down the uh, upstairs in the, yeah, where the balcony at. Yeah. Upstairs? Yeah. How you do that? How you put that on? Well, you know how the vault set up. Where you it's go upstairs. Like, it's really, but you know, in the back room, it's like all connected. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so that back room where we be at and stuff, yeah. doing all that. Yeah, in there. Still. What was her name? Real quick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, come on. I already done spilled too much sauce on that one, oh. but you know what I'm saying? We definitely used to be lit for sure. Hey, watch it, you know so, did you wear a condom? You know, you know. I, oh, bro, you know I had You did not wear a condom on. that quick in the top of the vault. When you had a party or stuff hey, quick, you you're stay, not pulling out a condom. If you stay ready, you don't got to get ready. Let me tell you that right now. Oh. Yeah. Wow. But then you know I had the condom line too, though. You did so have you know a condom. I've, you did. I've been safety first. That was great. That was great. That was great. This guy don't want no kids. You see, he not playing no games. So that's the wildest thing you ever did at a party was have sex at one. Um, I mean, I, we done did some lit stuff at the parties, but like, since you guys spoke on it, I was like, all right, yeah, I got a story too. I'm trying to think. Of or the wildest thing you ever done with a female, where, a place, like anywhere. I won't say what I did, but at 1019, it definitely got ratchet in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it definitely got ratchet a few times. It was. I remember them days you used to hit me up and be like, I'm about to go to the car. I just took her to the car. Come nah, back. Kevin, that wasn't me. She at the bar. Like, that wasn't me. With dick breath and shit. <laughs> <laughs> That Mills wasn't is a trip me. off the Ciroc, that wasn't me. Mills is a trip off the Ciroc. That was not me. I mean, we was young, we grew. That's what we supposed to do. Nah, it was... <laughs> yeah, nah, it was definitely some good times, for real. That's why I know the ones that we got coming... Yeah. Man, stop playing with yourself. Like, yeah. Them gonna be the ones, for real. Yeah. And then now I feel like our crowd is mature, too. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's really bad and bougie vibes, for real. What's your type of female, man? What you like in a female, like? Mm. I ain't gonna lie, I kind of always end up with a light skin. I don't know, I always kind of do. Okay. But uh, but the biggest thing I would say is consistent, consistency for sure. I guess, let me not say consistent because everybody use that word. Um, the most reliable, you know what I'm saying? Because you know, some of these girls out here do be super cute or they be super cool, but like, they don't be all there in the head sometimes too. Facts. You know. So it's like, yeah, I need the one that's reliable for sure. So like, no preference, like, like I just 200 see, pounds, you just, like, <coughs> like you don't care what she like, what, you know what I'm saying? I do, I do like them thick. You like them sure. thick, big? Yeah, tall and thick. <laughs> stallions. Hey, I do like a stallion. That's cool. For I sure. like stallions too. For sure, I definitely like a stallion. He said, I definitely like a stallion. I had a few popped in my head like, mmm. <laughs> <laughs> this boy about to go crazy tonight. Man, I just, I think you just said your type today, right, on that ground. Uh, yeah, I said I don't really got a type, honestly. Um, long, I mean, I love you. Gotta have. I like a girl with like a nice smile and teeth. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like this under smile. under two hundred pounds. 
uh, you know, street and book smart. Um, I really don't care if you're dark skin, light skin, brown skin. Uh, as long as you got I, confidence I in yourself. I don't, uh, I don't care either. I know? like good hair, you know what I'm saying? Long hair. Oh, yeah. Nice uh, hair is definitely, that's definitely a plus you for know, sure. Can cook a little bit, you know. That's a plus too. You can grow. A lot of things you can teach and grow with, so I'm not too big on, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not perfect myself, so, you know, I got flaws myself. I don't try to just go for the baddest chick, the baddest look, because right. the girls we hit be, that be the baddest look it's, don't it's be right. It's sign that matters, you yeah, know? Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. The lowest I'll probably... He's a nice guy for real. Yeah, the lowest I'll... He's a nice I, guy. I'll probably date a seven and a half if she got everything else on point. Dang. As far as looks. What's a, what's a seven and a half? A seven and a half. That's a C plus. Dang, so she's just average. She's I mean, above special. average, but I can make what her... What matters on the inside so what? So, so what's the lowest you would date? <laughs> On a scale of one through ten, what we're was asking, what's the lowest? We're asking you the question. I said a seven and a half. Asking him the question. I don't discriminate. I said I go a seven and a half if she got everything else I'm looking for right. If she which, like cook, it, clean, okay, head on, like give me massages, rub my head, like know where I'm headed. So you want a girl that has wifely duties because that's what it sounds like. Uh, yeah, kind of. I, I learned, but not wife. I learned that too recently. That's something I learned. Nah, nah, don't hide from my question. <laughs> what's the lowest <laughs> rating you would date? One through ten. See, I don't really rate for real. It would really. So it doesn't me. matter to you. You a four can get you if she got something right. I don't know what a four is. I'm sorry. So how do you rate girls? Uh, sign. Let me stop playing. But like, I don't want to say like four. I would say stars. I would say stars. One to five. Yeah, one to five. Okay. One to five. I would say. Besides looks. The personality gotta be on point. Personality is You know what I'm saying? Important. That's the first thing. The looks is cool. Like, I definitely prefer, you know what I'm saying, a bad one. But then it's like, the in, the in person, uh -huh. bro, the personality gotta be it. Like, definitely. That's that's the main thing. So that's why I be saying, like, all right, I don't really don't go off the fours or whatever. But I would say, like, if I had to put a review a three and a half, and that's probably because she's super cool to be around. But, right. Like, she probably lacking something. Right, right, mm -hmm. right. So but like you know what, as guys, when we rate stuff like this, like they just take it and be like, man, he ain't shit. Yeah, da, da, da. Yeah. But then when they on motherfucking what's bro's name on uh, Instagram, Justin LaBoy or whatever, yep. they be reposting that shit every day. Just oh my day. gosh, a, a real man. No, no, no. Like man, stop playing. Yeah. <laughs> but I think you said three and a half stars. That's equivalent to a seven and a half. Will y'all agree? Yeah. yeah, so, yeah, I guess so we about right. to send the same boat. That's what I'm saying. Okay, okay, okay yeah. Cause I mean, of course, you can't just be busted. But yeah, you yeah, not for real. So you think uh, Columbus got the best looking girls in Ohio or the Midwest? Yeah, of course they definitely do. They we definitely do. Let me say it like that. We definitely do. But you can't find one here. You wouldn't date one here. Well, nah, because it's like... <laughs> okay, heard me? okay, well, it is. All right. You hear me? Let's get straight. I got him. I tricked him. That was a trick question. You like that? Because he keep tiptoeing around <laughs> while, I, while I'm hiding from the Columbus girls. It's like, I'm not hiding from the Columbus girls. I love girls. them. It's just, I come with a past. I'm not going to lie. I come with a past. Everybody do. So it's just like right now, i just rather not complicate it. So I'm like, that's why. And then, too, I ain't going to cap. Like, I'm be on like social media and stuff like that i don't even be following the chicks that be having like uh like you know two hundred thousand followers and stuff like that like i'll follow a few but that's not really my focus i'll follow somebody that maybe got 20k or 50k where i can tell it's a real person right instead of just liking and seeming like a creep because you know what i'm saying you know we a real player so it's like we don't just be liking stuff and just comment on stuff or nothing like yeah nah what's up with it baby yeah like, nah for sure me? for sure but definitely. yeah but nah, but nah, i'm just seeing these out of town girls that's bad i'm like why can't i shoot you feel me why and can't it, a few has been successful yeah mm -hmm. you gotta shoot a shooter gonna shoot no matter what yeah for real you shoot 100 times you're gonna you're gonna make at least 40 so that's like talking to 100 <laughs> girls 40 of them gonna, gonna get your attention you know what i'm saying <laughs> nah i feel you on that but nah, that's what's up, man. I'm 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 glad you're happy with the love life. Glad your uh, your business is growing. You got a plan um, by 30. Uh, everything is what it is. Columbus, hopefully, keep growing for you. Hopefully, you find that right chick, man. Get a kid, get your son, and right, get you know, some double you know, days going. Get a high, a big house. I know you want a big house, nice car, all I that. I want a castle. That's what I want. You want a castle. I want a castle. Well, how many kids though? 
Mm, my max, I ain't gonna, I would say three would be smooth. Yeah. If I had three, that'd be smooth. Smooth. But max, probably five or six. Just to make my mind happy, like, all right, we can probably do for yeah. six, but I'm cool with three. That's what's up. You want a big family? Yeah, I do. I want like four or five kids. You know what I'm saying? Family, man. You really a nice guy. Yeah, I mean, I want to be a cool dad, but I mean, my, I want my lifestyle to be on the road a lot, at least until I'm 40. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, like I said, I don't want to be an old dad either. So I want, I, I, want to, I want to squeeze yeah, a couple in. Moves. Who? Nick Cannon, all his baby moms. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. inspirational and future. So, you, so what he cutting him a check? Nah, he just probably a cool guy they love to be with that they just cool with. Like that's gonna be me. Let me ask you a question. You think he cutting him a check? <laughs> Yeah, not, not that he said, not that he said. Because I'm like, he had all, hey, sure. was I tripping or did he have them all in a gender reveal? Um, was they all, I'm not the gender reveal, the all, all the, uh, maternity pictures? Yeah. All I know, not that they baby mamas, he definitely cut them in the He got oh, it, though. What? Wild and now go crazy. But I'm saying, movies? what's the conversation like, listen, so look, I'm Nick Cannon, I'm rich. Nah, it's not I you. I want you to have my baby. Nah, it's just he. I take care of for the rest he, of your life. He like you, he's single, he having fun. Imagine being rich, having fun, fucking all bad bitches. I'm going to be the same way. I guarantee. I guess we. I guess he do got the pool. All tens, like what? I'm not pool. using no condom on you. We about to go crazy. And if it happens, mm. it happens. And to him, it just happens. <laughs> to me, <laughs> it don't be happening because I never. I, I, I did a lot of things, accidents, and nothing ever happened. Thank God. So I'm cool with that. Yeah, I slipped a few nights. I know that. Got it. Yeah. It's crazy no, it's that abortion. That awesome. abortion law. We got to be extra careful now. Yeah, that's, that's that's all the fellas in here. We got to be extra careful now with that abortion. You can't just be wilding, or you know what I'm saying? You're gonna be styling <laughs> and profiling. <laughs> nah, I was just playing though. But you, what you think about that abortion thing? That's just crazy, right? Yeah, nah, I honestly, I was kind of like lost for real. I'm like, man, where all this come from? Because yeah. I'm like, I'm just now hearing only because it's been you know everything, you know, everywhere or whatever, but. Mm-hmm. I was just like, man, where did all this come from? That, I want to get to the root of that. I, I don't think it's really about the, what's your, what's your thought on it or whatever. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? It's all about how this even come about. Right. You know what I mean? So I got to look into that myself before I even be like, oh, I think that, you know what I mean? So. That's what's up, man. So uh, any music you listen to? What music you listen to right now? For real? I say a lot of ESTG. <laughs> okay, gangsta. <laughs> I'll say, say, okay. say EST. Um, man, I mean, of course, you know, future. You yeah. know what I mean? Uh, for sure. For Gotta sure. love future. Hey, no cap hard. My favorite rapper. Young boy got some bangers out there. My other favorite hey, rapper. Hey, Chief got a few, but like. My other favorite the rapper. Ta- the tape ain't been all the way there, but he got a few out there. Who, serving. Chief? Yeah. That tape was crazy. What? Yeah, you talking about the Soldier one or whatever? Yeah, that's what you Yeah, yeah, that tape was. That tape that's was. Banger. But that the ones was... before, they wasn't all. Yeah, that, that you was. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but that last that's tape, that's yeah, that's nah, he definitely got some bangers. But like. I'm future talking, EST. Man. You ain't got a soft side? Nah. See? I know you get home. I would say my soft side would be certain songs. Yeah. Like you fall in the loop. Like oh, that's future a, still. That's like, a hard breakup song. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Your feelings, I definitely play that. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, absolutely. But then it's like, you know, I listen to some Brent too though. Yeah, Brent Fire. You know. Yeah, he's fire. Or some Roddy. Yeah, he's fire too. You know what I mean? What you think about that new Drake? Oh, that's cool. I like it. It's growing on me. I like that sticky song. You like last, last. Last Last is the greatest song <laughs> right now. You know We're going to play that Last Last, too. So if That's you how you hit, know you've been on the road. You'll be hip to that Last Last by uh, Burner Boy. That's, That's like the number one song in that club right yeah, now. Yeah, it's crazy. It sounds so great in the club, man. I can't wait. That's my happy song. Especially a few shots in. Yeah, yeah you got to pull up on me this weekend, man. Have a drink with me, man. Oh, yeah, let's do it. I got man, you. I'm going to let you know where I'm going to be at this weekend. We need camera. to host a happy hour and just have everybody come out. That'll be hard. Yeah, let's do that. We're going to push it to that. Yeah, so me and Mio's there. gonna be back, all right? Yeah. Well, let them know. Open mic, man. Let them know. Follow you. Let them know whatever you want to say. Ah, promo, prayer, promo, man. promo. So you know what it is. It's your boy Girls by Mayor Mills. Come see me. I do the bust down. You want top and bottom? It's perm cut. Come holla at me. 14K, 18K. What y'all want to do? You know what I'm saying? Girls by Mayor Mills. Let's go. Let's go. You heard it here first, man. Episode 12, Penthouse Network. Shout out Bangy. Shout out everybody. Yes, Shout out the whole cast. I love y'all. And see y'all episode 13. And don't forget to subscribe, like, share, all of that. You never know who we're going to have next. The GOAT is out.